Johnny Depp's lawyer, Camille Vasquez, claimed to the jury in his defamation trial against Amber Heard that his ex-wife ruined his life. With closing arguments set to finish today, the jury will then deliberate and give their verdict. In her searing final words to the jury, Ms. Vasquez told jurors that on May 27, 2016, Amber walked into a courtroom in Los Angeles, California, and filed a restraining order against her former partner. In doing so ruined his life by falsely telling the world that she was a survivor of domestic abuse at the hands of Mr. Depp, she said. On May 27, 2022, exactly six years later, we ask you to give Mr. Depp his life back. What is at stake in this trial is a man's life. She continued, there is an abuser in this courtroom but it is not Mr. Depp. There is a victim of domestic abuse in this courtroom, but it is not Ms. Heard. Ms. Vasquez claimed Ms. Heard's allegations of violence against Johnny were an act of profound cruelty to true survivors of domestic abuse. It is disturbing to think Ms. Heard would make up the horrific tales of abuse that she testified to in this courtroom, she said. What Ms. Heard testified to in this courtroom is a story of far too many women, but the overwhelming evidence and weight of that evidence is that it is not her story. It's not Ms. Heard's story. It was an act of profound cruelty not just to Mr. Depp, but to true survivors of domestic abuse for Ms. Heard to hold herself out as a public figure representing domestic abuse. It was false, it was defamatory and it caused irreparable harm. Ms. Vasquez also alleged the Aquaman actress put on the performance of her lifetime during the trial. Recalling the testimony from Amber's acting coach, who claimed in court that the star had difficulty pretending to cry while acting, the lawyer added, you saw it. Sobbing without tears. She also told the jury Amber had been verbally abusive to the actor, calling him names including references to him being washed up and a deadbeat dad. Miss Heard would take the low blows and hit him where it hurts, his children, she said. Meanwhile, Amber's lawyers Elaine Breedhoft and Benjamin Rottenborn made their closing arguments. Mr. Rottenborn brought up texts using the most vile disgusting language that you could ever imagine sent by Johnny's phone and seen by the jury. These words are a window into the heart and mind of America's favorite pirate, he said. This is the real Johnny Depp. 